now on BBC News, the biggest African and international news stories. Focus on Africa. Live from Nairobi, this is Focus on Africa on BBC News. Our top stories. The spokesperson of the Government of National Unity in Libya tells the BBC that anyone found responsible for neglecting the dams that caused massive flooding and death will be brought to justice. Anyone is uh, related to this uh, failure uh, has, uh, has to take their uh, punishment uh, and has to be under uh, the law. Meanwhile, Ghana protests against rising cost of living enter the second day as demonstrators demand improved living conditions. Also in the program, a joint security operation is underway in northwest Nigeria after gunmen kidnapped an unknown number of female students this morning. Well, many thanks for joining us. This is Focus on Africa. I'm Wahiga Mwaura. Libya's devastating floods have transformed the city of Derna from a busy, bustling port into a landscape of twisted rubble and car wrecks. Now, in response, the country's eastern-based administration says it would host an international conference next month in Derna to aid in reconstruction efforts. Racked by division since 2011, Libya has been ruled by two administrations vying for power. So to try to establish what the two groups will do, the BBC has requested interviews from both governments. In a moment, I'll be speaking to a representative of the Libyan government of Benghazi, known as the government of Eastern Libya. But first, Mohamed Hamouda is the spokesperson of the recognized and UN-backed government of national unity in Libya that's based in Tripoli. Now, I began by asking him earlier on for his reaction to the protests in Derna over the handling